Come on, it's Easter, right? I am a little bit of a chocoholic, so I do enjoy the odd Easter egg or two. Just a great opportunity to get together with friends and family again. I think that it's very easy to get lost in the motion. I'm gonna plan an Easter egg hunt for my kids. Chocolate eggs, and who doesn't love a good chocolate egg? One other thing that surprises me though, I'm not sure what chocolate eggs have actually got to do with Easter because to me, Easter is about Jesus. Here you have an innocent man dying on a cross for sins that he didn't commit. And that's the heart of the Easter message, right? That Jesus got the punishment that we all deserve. But it's also what Jesus continues to do for me in my life as he continues to love me and, and to give me hope for my future and to, uh, to be with me, to guide me through my days. I'm reminded of how much I need a saviour, how much I need this grace that our Lord Jesus poured out for us. Maybe more shockingly, especially when I don't feel like I've measured up, that I get the good things that he deserved. So many people who have a faith today can think back to the time when they went on Easter camp and it was the first time that they recognised that God was real because of the difference that he made in their lives. And how that line in the sand actually changed the course of history for us and for everyone to come on this earth. I think it's a, a great reminder of what's really important. Easter means Jesus. End of bloody story. Now, some people would say, gosh, you can't say that on Christian television. But that's the truth. It is a bloody story. It is finished. It's the end of the story. So when people say, what does Easter mean to you? Think, Easter means Jesus. End of bloody story.